Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Apologies today, I don't have my headset working, so I'm just using the microphone on the computer, and hopefully that's not too bad. So today we're looking at solving the cold book equation using Newton Rapson and F0 and problems with it. So, and just to give the IP for this, I got the idea from this from this book here. Uh, Applied numerical methods for MATLAB for engineers and scientists by Chapra. Uh, there's the objectives. And today we're looking at problems of finding the correct guess for the cold book equation and you know, when it converges and when it doesn't converge and likewise for F0. And a way of getting around it is this Swami Jane equation. And one final thing, I assume you know Moody charts, Reynolds numbers, head loss, cold book equations friction factor. I'm not going over that, I assume you know. So here's my uh, MLX file and my live script file. Again, just to give credit to there, I like giving the IP intellectual credit. And we're trying to find, ultimately, if you're doing this in a mechanics lab or fluids lab, you'd be looking at the friction head loss, like how much you have to raise the pipe to overcome the friction factor, etc., etc., the length of the pipe, the diameter of the pipe, the gravity, all that stuff. So what we're trying to do is find that F there, the friction factor, and when you find that, you can find the friction head loss. Now the Moody chart will do it for you, it'll give you a kind of an idea, but we're just getting in an exact solution. So there's the cold book equation. Okay, the Reynolds number is there. You can find Reynolds from here. I'm not going through rho, v, and d, and mu, and all the rest of it. They're given there. Rho is the fluid density, v is the velocity, dynamic viscosity, and v is the diameter of the pipe. Again, these are some parameters that we're going to use. These were taken from the book. Uh, to get a good guess for um, the newton rapson method, you can use the swami Jane equation, which we'll look at later. There's the Reynolds number for the values given above, so it's 13,000, so that's definitely turbulent. And here we have the Reynolds number popped into equation one above, and you have an implicit equation. In other words, F appears on the left-hand side, F appears on the right-hand side, so it's an implicit equation. So you've got to some way to try and work it out. So you need an initial guess. So let's go on a little bit just to see what come on. So we'll get to the initial guess later on. So there is rho, mu, diameter, velocity, etc. Roughness, Reynolds number calculated there. There's the function. There's the implicit function that we had above. And we just do the plot just to see what it looks like. And we're plotting between 0.008 and 0.08. And when you do that, you see, I think I, the title I have it is 0.03. It's not 0.03, it's about 0.028 there. It's, there's F down here, there's F prime process there, so the solution is 0.028. I think I have approximately 0.03, but yeah. So there's, I, I was going to say, I wrote, took from the book, there's the delta of the G, remember the G is the cold book equation, DG is the derivative of the G, and that's the derivative of it there, as it were, done by hand. And here we're calling this function Newton Rapson. G is the, the cold book, DG is the derivative, and this is our initial guess. 
and out is the value uh, and the iterations and the value. So let's go look at the oops, in there. So there's from your man's book. So there's the on the right hand side the five input variables. We'll have a look at what they mean in a second, and there's three output variables. So a reminder again, the input variables are in roundy brackets. And on the left hand side of the equal sign, the output variables are in square brackets. So it's reasonably described there, you know, lines 3 to 15. There's a bit of error checking there that there's a number of arguments in, it's at least three. Argument four is settling the desired tolerance, which is three notes one. And then if the number of arguments five is empty, that's the max iteration set it to 50. Now, and that it's 50 in the book, but I set it to 10 for reasons that we'll see later. You can see there, while true, you keep running around. My new x is equal to my old x, and then my new value of x or my new x root is my old x root minus the function divided by the derivative of the function. And you keep looping around until the iterations, until it converges, you know, until it gets to less than four noughts one, or you have run out of iterations. Now remember, I changed the iterations to 10 from 50. So either something happens, either it converges or it doesn't converge. If it converges, happy days. It doesn't converge on happy days, so it's really why it doesn't converge. And then finally, your root then is XR. So we have all of that. We ran it and we used the initial guess there of 0 0.008. Let's see what happened. Max iterations is 10, and there's the root 0 0.0157, 0 0241, 0 0.0238, 0 0.0298. You can see there that we're quite near, and then so an f print f the root of the equation using what is six decimal places that and it took six iterations of it. So great, happy days. Now, you'll see now in a second if we use point. 08, that's the upper end of the range. We'll see later on when we run it. The thing never converges. And why it doesn't converge is there's a number of reasons, but in our case, it's number one. If f prime sort of oscillates between positive and negative, the thing will never converge and it'll just diverge and the numbers will get mad altogether. You'll see what I mean by mad in a second. So there's my Newton Robson method. There's g. Delta G is the derivative of G, and there's my initial guess, my oh, yeah. So you call it again, you call that uh, function Newton Robson. You can see here XR negative, then it gets complex, then it's positive, then it's positive. Well, it's sort of positive here. You have a plus and imaginary, plus and imaginary, minus and imaginary, and then here. It goes to a minus real and a plus imaginary. And then if we go down a little more, you can see the, the roots start to get 10 to the 2, 10 to the 4, 10 to the 5, 10 to the 11. And so never mind the change of roots, it just goes bonkers altogether, 10 to the 17. And the reason why I only went to 10 iterations, if I want to 50, like it, it just gets a, not a number. You know, the numbers be so big that the whole thing collapses. So, it doesn't converge, and the number of iterations was 10. Now, if you're new to this, you don't say, well, how do I know, if I was using the newton robson method, how do I put in a good guess? So I won't have this divergence problem. You can use the Swami-Jane equation. There it all is. Now it's only valid, you know, for um, the um, 
for certain values of range, Reynolds numbers, it's between 5,000 and 10 to the 8. And KS over D is between 10 to the minus 6 and 10 to the minus 2. And this is explicit. The F is only on one side of the equation. So there's a function swami Jane. And it's point oh you put that that'll be its guess point oh two nine oh three one. If you put that into the Newton Lapson function that we looked at before, G and D G you know it's going to converge because remember it was 0 0.0289 so it's kind of near 0 0.0293 and you'll get converges there fairly quickly I didn't print out the number of iterations did I? Oh I did, it took three iterations so one way out of it to make sure it works is to use the Swami chain initially and then that will give you a uh, good convergence now you could also use F0, which is MATLAB's method of solving the uh, distributive solution. Uh, you can use F solve as well, but F0 goes as well. F0 is allegedly more robust than F solve. Now, if you put in the lower guess, the one that worked for uh, Newton Rapson, 0.008, remember it worked for Newton Rapson. When you bang it into F0 for G, same thing, the F prime sort of starts oscillating, and because the F prime starts oscillating, the whole thing diverges. So it doesn't work, you see, it crashes out there, not a number, just where that's highlighted there. I'm trying to put not a number, so it doesn't work. And then where it didn't work in uh, Newton Rapson to 0.08, if you put that value in using F0. It works exactly. So just be aware of that. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.